Hey guys and welcome back to Iron Kist. Let's uh, let's get in on this first mission, shall we? Right, so now we get to choose where we want to be. So Dover is where the boss is. It says hard. That means effing impossible. All right. So uh, yeah, you don't want to like first turn fight the uh, fight the boss. So this big logo here is the boss. What you want to do is you want to hit up some of these smaller places first. Your soundtrack is epic, Ironcast, but Jesus allowed. There we go. There we go. That is a lot better. So you want to hit up these uh, these smaller areas first in order to get yourself um, some levels and some money and stuff like that. You want to hit most a medium. At most. Um, well, there is only mediums right now, but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't, I don't know if this is the best strategy or what, because, like I said, I've, I've, I've played the game a fair bit, but, well, we're hitting pretty much an hour now. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's not an hour. That's uh, how long I've been sitting making my thumbnails. <laughs> so, uh, I've hardly been playing the game, so what we want to do is I think I'm going to look for scrap and get as much money as possible, like this early game. So it's 5.25, oh, 5.30 over here. In the immediate aftermath of France's devastating attack, you must push back against the enemy advance ports allowed to gain momentum. Destroy the enemy iron cast invader at this location within the time limit. If the turn limit within the turn, turn limit rather. If the turn limit is reached, the enemy will receive reinforcements. The counter offensive will have failed and the mission will have been lost. So we've got ten turns to repel these enemies. We get 120 war assets, which are up here. That basically reduces the difficulty of the boss encounter. Uh, we've got an experience, we've got our scrap. Right, we're in Winchester for a medium difficulty battle. So let's do it. Right, what have we got here? Spire. Greetings, Commander. This is Lady Emmeline H. Blackwell, your new commanding officer. Understood, Lady Blackwell. I must ask, where is Lord Butler? Unfortunately, as it is my charge to inform you that your previous... As it is, it is my charge to inform you that the previous General Lord Butler was slain in the blast. I am his replacement. That's unfortunate to say the least, he was quite a man. <laughs> it is a sad day indeed, but you must focus your efforts on the task at hand, Commander. Move to neutralise the enemy Ironcast. We shall rise from the ashes this day. I can see this game being a fantastic uh, mobile game, or iOS, or tablet game. Right, so let us... Assess what we're going to do. I like just like little things like that we cog. So we can't attack on the first turn, but what we can do is we can use our rocket pods. This is our signature ability. So it fires six rockets, each striking an a random enemy system for 10% of the system's max health. So we'll do that straight off. That doesn't cost us absolutely anything. It just takes four turns to recharge. So that's already done a chunk of damage to them before we even get set off here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on getting ourselves some energy and some ammo built up before the, uh, the start here. Also, that's only a four. That's the best we can really hope right now. So we'll get ammo, we'll get energy. No, I want the uh, this other chunk of energy here. And that means I can raise up our drives and our defenses. I like having high, um, oh, did we manage to get a, I think we did, I think we got an overdrive on that. Uh, I like to get this up, but what you can do is you can check their damage. So they've got a 15 to 16 pulse repeater and a 10 to 13 light cannon. So if we raise our defenses by two, we can totally negate any damage they can do. So they can't hurt us at all. Um, we don't have enough energy to do anything else and we can't attack on the first turn. So let's hit done. And we'll let them choose what they want to do. They've pumped up their shields. They've got a 15 damage reduction shield. So what we want to do is we want to focus on keeping our shields up. Mm, unfortunately, I'm going to take that scrap right off the bat. Unfortunately, we don't have an awful lot of energy to play around with. We do have that to raise our shields one more. And that'll just keep it so that they can't damage us at all. But we want to target their shields. They've got 15 damage reduction, but this does a freaking 80 odd damage in the energy lance. So we want to smack them with that. Boom! 
She was at 50 now, so we want to get another bit of ammo so that we can hit their shields once more with the energy lance. Boom! And now we want to focus on their drives with our other gun. And that's them dead. A two turner. Oh shoot, sorry about that, I just walloped my mic with my, uh, my pop filter. Come in, Spire, this is Lady Powell. Receiving you well, Commander. Is the task complete? Indeed, Lady Blackwell, the enemy has been destroyed. A small victory, at least on this terrible day. Good work, Commander. Let us hope that the first of many victories to come in the near future. Return to the hangar bay and be sure to effect any repairs you may require before the next battle. And that's it. That's the first mission done. We just got the achievement untouchable for not being damaged. Um, I'm guessing anyway. <laughs> we can't check the achievements because it's early access. Because I've got the game before it's actually released. Yeah, um, Steam doesn't let you look at the achievements. Um, so, for the mission rewards, we've gained 120 assets, 530 scrap, and 4,500 XP. For the match, which is basically the amount of matches you fight up against, we got 100 um, scrap and 713 experience. And for the amount of enemies we actually destroyed, we got 25 scrap and 150 experience. Total rewards 120 uh, war assets, 655 scrap, and 5,363 experience. Ooh, and a level. Nice. Level up. And we also got the Pulse Repeater Mark II, the Royal Electric Energy Blueprint. That's our first blueprint unlocked as well. I don't know if blueprints carry over game to game, I'm not sure. So now we can click on the workshop and check the... No, they don't. So we can check this new blueprint. So this gives us 20 to 21 damage per shot. Average damage 140. So this is actually more damage than a light cannon. That exact same ammo, exact same cooldown. The only difference is it's energy as opposed to it being... So it does 5 to 10 shots as well. So the shots are random. Ah, okay. So it does the same damage per shots, but it's got a chance to do more shots. So that's where the extra damage comes in. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, I'll, I'll happily build this, actually. 750 scrap, we've got just enough to build it. So let's do it. Let's pop this on our iron cast. So to do that, you just click here. And you click over to the energy weapons and move that over onto weapon A. Save and close. That's us done there. And let us check our thing for ranking up. Select a passive augmentation or iron cast ability as a reward for reaching a new commander rank. So we can get shield dampener, which is a new ability, reduces the opponent's shield or armor strength by 50 for the rest of the turn. We can do overdrives, the chance of your, your drives automatically getting into overdrive when activated is increased by 5%. Or you can get gather repair, collects all repair nodes from the grid, this is not classified as a match so earns no experience. That is actually a really nice, I, I was wanting this one but that is super good. So yes, let's grab that ability and it automatically gets slot slotted in. That means that we don't need to do a match if we ever need repairs. Which is so strong. Um, we're only 8 minutes into this video, so let's do another one. I'm hoping to do one one match per... Uh, or one, one mission per video and then what I do after it as well. But because this is the second episode and that mission was super slow, we'll do another one. The Defector. So we've got... We've got a hard mission here that we could do. We've got just a battle there. A battle here. Or over in Dover, we have another battle. Hmm. 565. 560. 690. That's worth a lot more, but we are going to take damage. And damage is expensive. Oh, this is Jeremy Blake. I've done this mission. Right. We have just received... Inf well, doing this one. We have just received information that not everyone in the Consortium of Merit is aligned with our goals in the defence of England. A formerly friendly Ironcast commander by the name of Jeremy Blake has defected to the French side. He has a great deal of knowledge about our organisational structure and tactics, so obviously this cannot be allowed. We've located his Ironcast at this location and destroyed the turncoat before he can escape. Yes. For some reason, I just don't like this guy. <laughs> As I've done this mission before. Hello again, Commander, as you will undoubtedly already know, a massive enemy force has made landfall near Dover. It seems that the attacks on our military locations were a precursor to this new offensive. 
We've estimated that it will take the French spearhead eight more days to reach the capital. If London falls, all is lost. I was made aware of these developments late last night. I hear that the leading the convoy is an unknown model of gargantuan class iron cast. Is there more, any more information on the matter? Your correct commander, the French flagship Ironcast is known as the Tour de Reines and is piloted by Commandant René Durant, one of the strongest Ironcast pilots alive. Ah yes, Durant. I've heard many tales of him. His reputation is one of an exacting and ruthless commander. At our current operational strength, we will be no match for the French advance. We must work to unite our scattered forces before the Tour de Reines arrives at the gates of London, but before we can do so, we must eliminate former friendly Ironcast commander Jeremy Blake. His defection cannot go unpunished. So that is basically what we're showing you with the boss moving forward, sort of FTL style. You need to defeat the boss before it reaches London. Understood, Spire Command. I shall kill the Tonko before he can escape. So there he is. So let's check on his weapons first off. He's got the shotgun, which does 128 average damage, so it's 30 to 35. We cannot defend over that. And he's also got this pain in the ass rocket missile launcher, which does 50 to 64 damage. Ah, oh god, that's such a pain. But it does splash damage of 15 to 19, so that is how it does the 55 to 64, because it damages everything. So you need to, you can defend against that with 20, so with two defences. But that you, like, you just can't defend against, unless the three defences make it. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is, we can have a maximum of 10. It doesn't tell you anywhere, I wish... If the developers do eventually watch this, please, can I just have a, a zero out of somewhere in a tooltip? That would be lovely. Uh, for all of these things, without me having to remember. Basically because I'm lazy. Anyway, let us match up. We can have 10, but might as well match up the 11th to get the extra experience. Have 8. I keep forgetting that. So let us fire our rocket pods. And the next thing we want to do is get ourselves some ammo. I could use this to get ourselves some more uh, energy. But I think I'll use that for something else, actually. So let's raise our defences. Uh, we actually, that was cheaper for us. That was only two. I think we must have got an overdrive for that. Alright, we could raise our defences all the way. Which I think is probably the best shout right now. Um, another thing. We could use this and grab all of the... Yeah, let's do that. And that'll make everything a bit closer up for us. Okay, so we've got two more things to do. We could gather some more... Ammo. And simultaneously grab some more energy. Seems like a good idea. We still can't attack, but at least if we've got ammo sitting there then we are good. I don't want to gather any more ammo because that would max us out. There's no more energy for us to gather and we don't really need coolant so let's just gather the scrap and we'll tell it to walk. Alright. Do your worst Jeremy Blake. So he's whipped up his shields, he's used his rocket launcher. His rocket launcher done 26 damage to one section but zero to the rest. That's pretty cool. Uh, so you see we took 26 damage to weapon B, but no damage to the rest of our weapons. His defences are at 20, so we'll need to use this. Uh, yep, that seems good. He's still got 84 damage left, so we're going to need to shoot him again with that. Okay, we've still not done enough, but we can collect a ton more ammo. So I'll give us nine more ammo. And then the next thing we want to collect will be some coolant. Alright, and then we want to fire this one more time. His shields are completely and utterly down. The uh, rocket pod is... This we can kinda shield against. But the rocket pod does a lot of damage, just straight up. So we want to aim on that and we'll use our pulse repeater for that. So, boom. Oh, we got a lot of hits off on that one. Yeah, his rocket pod is completely down. So, for the next attack, there's no en no real amount of energy that we can pick up. So, for our next attack, we want to 
collect all of the ammo and fire on his shotgun. And that's him dead. Boom. Get wrecked, son. Killed by my own people. Such a shameful way to die. You cease to be British the minute you leaked information to the French. You brought this upon yourself, Blake. Perhaps I was not alone in my deceit. In fact, I am not alone as we speak. No, there's a train! <laughs> God damn you, train! So, let us grab some extra energy. That'll give us four energy. We can raise up our shields by one, giving us 30 shields. They have a shotgun, which does 30 to 35, and this energy lance, which does a fecking ton. So, let us aim on the energy lance, and... Pulse repeater! Fa! Boom! And that should have... Oh, it's got 18. You mother trucker. Um, we can also repair this, which will cost us five. It won't, it won't repair enough for me to be happy. But let us do this. We'll start walking, which should, uh, should give us a little bit of evasion. Oh, there it is. There's that repeater. There's that uh, energy land, sorry, that I was worried about. Right, it is now my turn. And the only th real thing that we've got that we can collect a chunk of will be repairs. So let us collect those five repairs that we just spent. God. Let's grab the scrap as well. Did they repair that? No, they did not. So although it'll leave us a bit weaker, I will happily grab this. And fire my pulse repeater. And we're going to fire it again. Take a little bit of damage. But we should destroy him. There we go. See you later, Mr. Train. Come in, Spire. This is Lady Powell. Receiving you well, Commander. Blake is dead. May he rot in hell. Agreed, Commander. Return to the hangar for debrief. So there we go, in total we got 12,000 experience, 985 scrap, and 185 war assets. Boom. Level 3 and almost 4. Oh, we got the shot cannon Mark 3, the energy lance Mark 2R, and the hardened drive Mark 2R as well. Rare drive blueprint. So these are green, so they're rare, and this is just a white, so it's vendor trash. I keep at least five repair nodes in reservoir in your reserves just in case. So now what we need to do is we need to repair using a scrap. There we are, and we've got our level as well. Select a passive augmentation or iron augmentation. Boost the accuracy of all weapons by five. It will cost one less energy to activate the drive system at the cost of one extra coolant. Or replace a random node in the grid with overdrive. Not like that. Plus one less energy, cost of an extra coolant. Mm, coolant's used by a lot more stuff. I think we'll just go with the accuracy booster. Yep, that's what we'll do. Lady of Power. Yeah, that's the, uh, this is the signature augmentation that we've got, which is max matching six or more energy nodes, reduces the energy cost of activating the next shield or drive system by one. So as long as we can get a nice big chunk then we can get uh, some cheaper shields or drives. Also, our energy weapons do an extra 10% damage, which is why I put on the energy gun, which is why that energy gun is just so much better. But even though the shot cannon essentially does more damage, 39 to 46 is actually pretty de decent. 168 base damage because of that splash. I kind of fancy making that and changing my energy lance for it. Actually, let's see how this energy lance is. This is a rare one. 121 damage. Yeah, I think I would rather the energy lance. That way we can focus down our shields. A hardened drive. 30% max evasion. That is insane. Plus 3 energy and only 1 coolant though. 
three energies a bit of a I think I'll go for the best defense is a good offense, right? Oh, not enough scrap. I'm missing eight scrap for it. Oh, god damn you. What about the drive system? Could I get that? 860. No, I'm missing eight scrap for that as well. Right, so we're gonna to need to save up our scrap. I should have I should have just not healed all the way and done that. But that's gonna do us for this episode, guys. As always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CJ, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.